In today's video, I'm commanding the United States Army against insurgent forces. Our goal is to conquer to the outskirts in an invasion plan. The issue with invasion is that it's the hardest game mode. You're commanding 50 players, which all need to have skill, coordination, and strategy. And if any of these factors go wrong, we immediately lose the game. Now, this video is going to be a fun one. I'm pretty excited. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get straight to it. On a map like this, the enemy team can see us from their defending point about a mile away. They have the heads up, and we don't. Our goal here is to capture the point Iridu. Now Iridu is split into two halves. Now we need to be within 20 meters of this flag to capture it. Now because the point is split in two, I'm assuming most of their forces are going to be concentrated on the northern part where the actual point is and a lot less troops are going to be here in the south. I'm thinking we get a southern flank. Maybe we can also get a half here, push from the south and that should be our initial push. Our second push to be one on the north where we take advantage of these valleys, use the terrain to our advantage, and we can get a push from the north. North to south, south to north, we can get a pretty good pincer attack, probably encircle all of Iridu and capture the point ultimately. Now, short movement initially, pretty simple. One, two, three, four. We're doing good on the north side. I need you guys to start getting a push. Hey, E15 had, can you guys get like an MG down maybe? Hey dude, close, close, close. Ten four. Frag out, frag out. Hey, when you get when you get close, throw grenades. When you get close, throw grenades. Thanks, smokes. Ten four. Somebody cover him. Medic, watching your six. Let's get a breach. If you have grenades, underhand it over that wall. If you have grenades, underhand it. If you have grenades, underhand it. Hey, get my, hey, come here, get my six. Cover me, cover me, cover me. Get in here, get in here. Hold corners, hold your corners. Get my six, get my six, get my six. All right, clear, 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 clear. You ready, ready, ready? Window, window, window. We're five chevrons, guys. Hold your, hold your positions. We're five chevrons. Hold your positions. We're five chevrons. The five chevrons I'm referring to are the five arrows of the top right, where you see a red line that is crossing the arrows. That just shows us capturing the point. And yeah.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a cap. On to the next one. Now all is going to plan, and our troops have successfully captured the first point. It's on to the next. Now the next one's going to require an entirely different strategy, and the next point is going to be way more difficult. Welcome to South Valley Air Base, a military installation in the desert, which is our next point. Incredibly hard because it's an air base, now attacking is going to be fucking hell. There's 2 meter high Haskell walls lining the entire outside of the air base, only with a few select entrances which makes this incredibly difficult. Now many of our initial attacks started here. Straight from the first point, we were getting denied, denied, denied. Many enemies stopped us and we tried flanking on the western side. Now, I didn't mention 2 meter high Haskos, we were literally hopping over each other's heads to get a break through here to push southbound to where the point center is. Now, after losing hundreds of troops, we finally made a flank way eastward for the far east entrance of South Ali and that's where we saw our breakthrough. Now adding pressure on all sides, that's when we then started to actually capture the point. Extremely difficult, a lot of troops were lost, this took a lot of time, it took artillery and it took command assets. I had to get an MQ-9 Reaper drone in the air to fucking win this battle. Alright, alright, we're gonna do it again. If you don't have a scope, you're not going up. Crouch, get me on the wall. There, uh, open field, outside the open field. <laughs> medic, Ow. medic. Oh. Medic. Like medic, you need to bandage yourself first. Oh, this is horrible. How'd they get our position? Spread, 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 or we're dead. Spread, or we're dead. Spread, or we're dead. How do we get in? Wait, wait, what's that? What's that? Who's that? Insurgent, insurgent! Ha ha ha! Bastard. Nice, guys. Good coordination, yeah? There's too much Haskos. One of us had to make the sacrifice. I wish I could drag you up here with me. I'm sorry. So long. So long. Insurgent, insurgent. 143. Dead, dead, dead. Insurgent, 139. Laying down. 3, 2, 1. What the hell? I gotta commit. Like this game is unreal. There's no like this guy would be so dead.
<laughs> I don't know what killed this kid. I'm getting on assets. After dying like that, I decided to hop on the M290 Reaper drone and show them who the fuck daddy is. It's too bad. I'm not making that call. I wanted them pushing on the east. The blueberries that are pushing on the eastern side, like kind of by ones and serve mark, are doing really well. To be honest, with you. I just got a UAV up too. I'm calling it. I'm about to call a creeping barrage. Hold up. Carly, you're in range. Creeping barrage inbound. Creeping barrage inbound. Anybody got an ammo bag? Ammo bag, ammo bag. Alright guys, let's go neutral on this point. <laughs> Look at top left, like what are they talking about? Almost neutral here. 5%, 1%. Now I think it's highly important to mention that I have over 700 hours of squad, so from the previous point straight to the next point, attacking directly is the worst fucking mistake you can make. We would lose immediately. Now obviously we can't attack straight on. Um, crossing this airfield in general, this entire area here was difficult because it's open and flat terrain, so you were getting fire fired on by tanks, APCs, IFVs. Um, my play, or per se my idea, was to establish a base here, move west using the coverage from the urban area, we set up a base move southwest and then launch an attack like that um on our way here though shit got a little dangerous there were actually enemies guarding this position so um leading an attack here was just way too hot so we fled west a little northwest set up a base here and this plan kind of turned into a two-step we were 500 meters removed from the actual point so after setting up a good base here we had to do a two-step plan so one and then two it ended up working as we overran here and Something that was not a part of my plan happened, and uh, it was kind of fucking weird. One of the, one of our squads decided, oh, you know what? He's gonna fucking have all the way over here. 1,100 fucking meters of movement. They actually got it down. It worked. It's a north to south attack, which had like a slight pincer, and it was pretty effective at the start. However, a base like this is closer to the enemy base, um, which isn't beneficial. They're gonna see it. They're gonna wipe this shit out, which that did end up happening. Um, the plan that actually worked was the one where, after this went down, they set up base here, and they got one on the eastern side. So as you see here, it's kind of like a pincer, and we have the western, and we have the eastern axis pincering on the, uh, old Soviet, whatever you call the point. Um, I did have to get on command assets, so that means getting an MQ-9 Reaper drone up and getting artillery. Yes. <laughs> Alright, that's the plan. I'm trying to figure it out because pushing our crosses, pushing directly southeast towards the band and Soviet is going to be super difficult. That's about 300 meter crossing or more. It's going to be tough, but just infantry. Yeah, so get, get one and two to come in here, cover We might have a pretty straight shot out yeah, there because they're attacking the uh, east. Yeah. That could give us a good enough distraction. You might be right. I think I'm gonna hop on command NASA and see what I can do for them. Six, how good is your push? I'm gonna try to get assets up for you. You wait in or out. I have a A10 Warhawk strike and a artillery static. I'll see what we can do. Hold up. You guys are clear for push. Oh, 
Un oggi. You guys feel like you need assets? Because you're looking pretty good from where I'm standing. The hab is definitely in here. Hab marked accurate. Hag marked accurate. There's a lot of infantry running from that silo. If you guys just like lay suppressive fire on the entrance of the silo, you will get kills. We're capping! Two chevrons is nice. Three. Guys, on it. What the? What the? Uh oh. Guys, I need you holding positions. We have a cap. We're doing good. Guys, tell you guys to just hold positions and stop trying to push too much. Don't get in direct fire. We have three chevrons at one point. We got to just slow it down. Unfortunately, that death was the immediate downward spiral. We lost two radios right after, which is the loss of 40 tickets. And then after losing vehicles, armed vehicles, which cost us a lot more tickets, and we end up losing the game. This was a fun match. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please sure to like and subscribe. Um, this is the first squad video I've ever made. Is it good? Is it bad? Let, make sure to let me know in the comments. Um, I will be posting more. Um, wow, this was a long video. Longest video I've ever made. Um, and I appreciate you guys so much. So, uh, um, bye. We need to get you medics and shit. Hell no. <laughs> hey, fuck you, you fucking armor up. pussy. Suck what my fucking guys? balls. How about that shit? Who is this in I'm at 2008 Xbox.